Here's some oh. earrings for you. No, it's fine. This is hard, right? This is the The love truck. Love truck. All right, guys. So welcome back. Some very exciting news. There's a new project on the horizon. We're on our way to go fetch it right now. So Erich has seen it before. That's how the decision was made. But yeah, this is quite an interesting story. So I think um, you need to tell you about this one. Yeah. So this was a van that was used as a workhorse, abused. We will show you a clip later on of the actual kilometers on the vehicle. They abused it so much that the engine blew up. One of the employees of the company, you will see the branding on the side, decided to buy the vehicle and his finances dried up. I inquired about it because I saw it was standing in the bushes underneath the trees just rotting away rotting away so i decided we can give this project a, a new piece of life yeah breathe life into it and it's about time that we have a new project um yeah it's been a while it's been a while for new projects and this is something different yes. it's not a fast car or 4x4 this is something completely different so <laughs> is that the van that's the van <laughs> there's, there's there's almost no road to it <laughs> guys um, just have a look at this i don't even think you can see it it's right over there it's completely covered up under the trees i was here about two or three months ago there's been a bit of tampering there i see there's a branch laying on the roof as well so i guess with all the strong winds that we had we had severe weather so lots of rain lots of mud now where we're driving the fortunate is for y4 so it shouldn't be a problem getting there yeah. You see that bumper that's laying there wasn't there before. Oh, okay. Oh. Now, now we are stuck. Oh. Show, show, show that little light there. That light is the problem. Uh, put this flat to the floor. Luckily, with just a few simple steps, we can get out. And there we go. <laughs> Easy as that. This is awesome open everything up show them what is there and what isn't there because there's a big hole where there's nothing i think we throw it to the workshop so this area is usually not that swampy maybe they tried to break into the window or to the door or something the door's a little bit open so it wasn't like that no it wasn't it was closed that's the light I remember was broken. Bumper. At this moment in time, this project looks looks like quite it, rough. It probably needs to go to the scrapyard, but I think I must save it. Because um, I noticed something is missing in front. Yeah. Some something tiny. Yeah, because I can go through the headlight and I can climb in here and live in here. <laughs> Most probably. <laughs> Necessary bits like the engine mountings and the drive shafts and the gearbox, six speed manual gearbox, mm -hmm. is in the, in the back. I see the aircon pump is still here. All the wiring, this is the engine, the engine wiring room. That will be your glow plug wires. Those two. Uh, where's the other? There's the other glow plug wire. And there's the other and one. There's yeah. the other one. And then these will be your injector wires. These four. That will be a cam sensor or something. That is sensor wires. Luckily, they didn't cut any of the loop. Like this is the complete engine wiring. But the original engine is missing. The guy who bought it from the owners of this company, um, his plan was to fix it up. But the money that it cost to fix up that engine wasn't worth it so another guy bought the engine from him for parts and that was the value almost what he paid for the van oh, so we just decided to part with it it's worth it to me to put in the new engine and yeah it makes sense yeah fix up the body and everything apparently we're down in the winelands in the western cape um in paul wellington area and apparently we are doing a trip either to Port Elizabeth for an engine or to Johannesburg. The deal that makes the most sense is the one in Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Uh, because 
that engine comes with six months guarantee and that's cool. it's complete complete literally just plug in place this seems like a lot of work but a lot of fun let's see inside i think we can actually we can probably take off all the plastics and everything that bumper we're probably going to sell it this is the front bumper stiffener still complete Not quite open. important quite important because this also get the headlights the radiator the aircon condenser the intercooler on a black and it's still complete as well still genuine um, yep. vw original did you bring the ladder i didn't <laughs> Let's just pull and Let's see what falls off. Okay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> well, let's just get some light on the inside. We can get some light inside of this. Don't scratch the paint. <laughs> Luckily, it's on the plastic. Perfect. Yeah, I don't see any chip here. That's a good sign. No one. So, as you can see, this has been a workhorse. Yo, this van was used. Yeah, so this was a proper panel van, eh? Proper. There you will see all the parts. Oh, I see oh. they closed the door there with the seat belt. So all these panels will be taken off. I think we will do a comparison here. With yeah. the, some masking tape. All the all the necessary bits is is there. But I see um, there's a is there should there be a seat there, yes, right? There, because it's a panel van, it's not the single seat like this, it's the longer the two third seat. This has been standing for a few months, eh? It was standing at another location, but I think the owners of the property gave them a bit of grief because it's just standing and it's a hazard for people to yeah. break in and stuff. Luckily we have a we have an eddy. We have an eddy that's gonna make light work of this I'm interested to see what's on the clocks we will we don't have a battery now but we will we will power it up soon maybe in the comments they will they can need, guess they can guess this could make a nice camper I think you, and you can you can go double story in here yeah this is the six speed gearbox according to the previous owner and according to me seems to be in fine condition, in working condition. There's another yeah. gearbox. Well, it seems like this gearbox was just taken off. Yes, I think that's first. That's first, yeah. This guy took some punch. That's just showing you how long this thing has been standing. This is a dual mass flywheel. And as you can see, it's not supposed to be moving that much. That will cause a shudder when you let out the clutch. see how long this thing has been standing 
take that mold. And as you can see, this is a genuine VW raised roof. And it was done at VW the correct way, it's not hacked on afterwards. So you won't have any leaks or anything? Nothing. Made of all the parts that's inside. Here's oh. some earrings for you. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we built a camp. 4x4 off-road camp out of it. Full motion. Full motion. V10. <laughs> so we're buying a tour rig as well. Maybe. To strip apart. <laughs> I think now we must get everything back inside to get it to the workshop. Yeah, let's throw it out. Should I pull the fortune forward? Maybe forward, yes. Yeah. Let's get this van to the workshop. <laughs> Let's see if 4x2 works. How is it down? How is it down? We're gonna try to push it onto the on the cement. <sighs> We're just breaking time. <laughs> Break work. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Little progress. Little progress. Oh, this looks so much better without the branding on it. I fitted the front so that I can see which bolts I short. So I short a few clips. Radiator is in. I check on the inside. Put that door panel quickly. And then you come and check. This door panel on this side. Yo, this is insane. So it still need to be cleaned a little bit in there. On the inside, yeah. There you can also see a difference. Check the color difference. Check the color difference there. Sorry. And here as well. This is gonna look like a different car. Definitely. So that's the handbrake and the seat. Uh -huh. That is a massive difference. Day and night. Day and night. Oh, so the idea is to finish this in a week, it seems. Let's try. <laughs> so we're busy removing all the brand new. It's going to be at the back. A few moments later Came back to the office and I ran into this <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Just doing some TLC you know Little bit Just a little bit Are you sending this this van back to the factory again? <laughs> yes, that, that, that's the plan It's really looking like another van Yes Let's see the carpet because you can see how full of dirt and dust, 10 years of dust. Well, I'm pretty sure this has never been cleaned in 10 years. And 
pretty sure as well. Uh, I think you need to stop, start stopping at some point. I don't know. It's easier to clean it when it's outside. <laughs> yeah, my worry is putting it back together. All right, so the dashboard is partly stripped. Partly stripped. I think this is enough, though. Just this last piece. Last piece. You said that 30 pieces ago. And then the carpet is coming out. Factory, it's a factory split. <laughs> then we can just poke the handbrake through there, like it was meant in the factory. Okay, you ready? As can be. <laughs> oh, nasty. Luckily, no rust. I imagine you still had to deal with rust as well. I think we are done for today. Let's just check the cabin folder. Surprisingly, well, not so bad. That is not bad. Not bad. But huh. They didn't forget the place. The next day. That's why you can steal. And then mark the So all the dents are marked. Yo, there is a lot. Oh, this is easy work. Easy, easy. Light work. Luckily, it's not big dents, so most of the dents. We'll just um, the hammer it out like almost like paintless dent removal. This one, that one, that one is gonna take a little bit of work to get it out. Fits the dent there, this one here, this one there. To to put as little body color as possible. Yeah. We will be removing this door and the two back doors those doors will stay because i don't want to struggle to align them again bumpers will come off today front and rear bumpers the lights so we can start doing some work on this tomorrow Lego. 